Hey guys, my name is Rakin Mondo. Welcome back to the King Christian for yet another reaction episode. Yes, today we're going to react to something. Oh la la. Eh? It's, I'm almost embarrassed. I'm almost embarrassed to show you this. I. Apparently, there's a, tr there's a video that has been trending. Some guys are getting whipped in each other. They all seem to have the same uniform, so I, I'm guessing it's the choir or. So, yeah, because they're both men. Hey, it's 30 seconds, so this is not going to be long. Um. Hey, hey, hey. I, I, let us just get into it and see how it goes. Um, but what? Prepare yourself for a good laugh. This, this is going to be awesome. Before we continue the video, quick shout out to Matli Merchants and Contractors in Juja Gete. If you want to own vlogging equipment or any other electronic, uh, visit Motley Merchants and Contractors in Gete for the highest quality for the lowest prices. Put a part to legit. Let's continue with the video. <laughs> Why? What? Guy, what? Good. Good lord. Good lord. And you ask, you wonder, you wonder why people laugh at Christians. You, first of all, my first comment, this is not Christianity. This is not supported by any statement in the Bible. New or old state. Uh, state. New or old testament. This is not supported in the Bible. I have... Hey... My thoughts and condolences to the brains of these people. As you can see, I think, see the 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 the, the chairs are empty. Yeah. So um, probably these are choir members uh, or some special committee. I don't know because at the front seats of some church. Uh, it's, it's just weird. It's weird. Jeez. Wow. It's. My thoughts and prayers to the intelligence of these people. So, cause you, you have to be utterly stupid. You have to be irrevocably naive. You have to be. <sighs> this is a special level of stupidity. This is some ass whooping right here. This is people are saying this BDSM in church, man. I, 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 don't know if I should, I should categorize. Okay, that that was obviously a, a joke. I don't think I should be saying such a joke. But what do you expect, people? <sighs> Would you blame people if they laughed at Christianity after this? This is the type of shenanigans you're experiencing in African churches. We have a special talent of taking things and turning them into a into a joke. Who, what ma what person, what male allows himself to get a nurse whooping like this in church? The the woman in front of you is probably your wife. It's probably you. You are a 35 year old man being asked by some intern from some seminary who's probably five years younger than you. And you still humiliate. This is not this is not subjugation. This is not submission. This is This is nonsense. This is It takes a special type of stupidity. It takes a special type of stupidity for you to for you to this you cannot manufacture this foolery. You cannot manufacture you, you see you see how what can I compare this to now? Eh? You see how some some people are described so ugly, only a mother could love them. You see, it's, it's the same type of stupidity. This this is only inborn. I don't know. This is only inborn. You can you cannot manufacture. You can't teach someone to be this much of a fool. This is the, it's the stupidity only a, a, a mother can love or understand. I don't know. Like, this is someone's wife, this is someone's daughter, this is someone's husband, this is someone's father. Getting asked, tell the preachers or whatever these people are to take their place and get their ass whooped like that. Anyone. Anyone. Time for, the, the time for jokes is, 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 is over now. Um, now let's get biblical. Like, 
I am trying to laugh, but I can't because I'm a Christian as well, and this is very, very, very embarrassing from my side. Uh, that the actual people sitting watching this shenanigans take place can't even stand up and call this foolery. There's a woman. This is what this is what made me happy. Three seconds of the video. Listen, this is some lady leading in worship. How can you be there in your mic leading worship? And probably your husband is getting ass whooped uh, on, the, on the altar. I, I, I don't know. Like, a person said a crowd is only as foolish as the least intelligent. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, a mob is only as intelligent as the least intelligent person amongst them. Something like that. I don't know. Well, the least intelligent person among these people has to be their pastor. And I am not saying this out of the joy in ridiculing anyone. I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting joy from this. Yeah? Um, the ones I admit, those being led and the one leading are both stupid. They're acting stupid from this point. Um, but special regards to the preacher man, and special judgment awaits him. Because how can you teach people something like this? Something like this. You dressed in a all suit to come and get your ass whooped. Hmm? What is biblical about anything here? Tell me who in the in the Bible. Tell me what priest got their ass whooped. Tell me what God told some preacher to or some prophet to 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 give people some beating like this. Hmm? Yes, Jesus whipped. The, the the hell out of people when they were they were doing stuff at the temple that wasn't right turning the temple of god into a den of thieves that i understand but they weren't like arranged in a line like he was driving people out and this was rage holy rage this this is this is this is comedy this is comedy central man this is this is a special man this should be premiered in like i don't know I'm trying to make something fun out of this, but I can't. This is the third state of Christianity, especially in Africa. This right here, this, 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 I don't know. Um, look, I've always emphasized, know your God. Hey. No, no, don't know your God. Know the true God. Know the true God. Me, if I walked into this church, I would laugh and get out of there. And <laughs> never to be seen again i would probably tell these people to stop whatever they're doing and and, and then i would go out probably i'll be chased i don't know I, but i wouldn't sit in such a i wouldn't um because this lack of intelligence, it's tempting, my friend. It's tempting. It's tempting. Kai, it is tempting. You see someone this stupid, you are tempted to manipulate them. You, you, you cannot be this. Ah, you are tempted to be like, I have to take advantage of this person. Yeah, I have to, I have to, I have to manipulate. Imagine that amount of cash you can draw out of these people. If they can kneel down and get their ass whooped. Imagine how many offerings you can draw out of these people. See, these are the wicked pastors in sheep clothing think they're out here to make poverty your best friend banner this 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 is it me if i get people like this and i'm that type of a pastor hey i'll be driving a bentley in no time no time wink to those who are getting my reference but my look my 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 genuine concern is god is very angry at this the Bible says that um, he's very angry at this was I think it's the book of Isaiah or Jeremiah. Um, he says where he will provide pastors who are after his own heart for the sheep. And I cannot refute the fact that we are in such a season. Unfortunately, most people are experiencing things like this and are 
moving to progressive Christianity or atheism and saying God doesn't exist. Now, let me tell you, this is a shout out. Do not fail to follow God because of what people who claim to follow God are doing. Please, draw the line. Huh? Know, know the true God because when you are presented before the seat of judgment, these guys are going to be behind you and you're not going to blame them for your own misfit or your own unrighteousness. Let us be real here. Let Follow the God of the Bible. This is not the God of the Bible. If the preacher tells you something that you're not uh, agreeable with, call him out. The, the, mo <coughs> the most diligent people in Acts are those who took what Paul said, studied it before they believed it. These were the most diligent people. It's, it's in the verse. It, it, it should be popping up in the screen right now. The Bible tells us to continually test these spirits. Test these preachers. Let us know them by their fruit. Someone who gives me a nurse whooping cannot be a person sent from God. We are talking about the circumcision of the heart here. What does this have to do with the circumcision of the heart? What does... Tell me, someone, please. Like, it's... It's, it's a fun thing once you watch the first 30 seconds, but it's utter nonsense. It's utter nonsense, bruh, man. Ugh. Hey, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, this is a sad state of reality. People are doing a bad job at marketing if Christianity should be market. the people, people are marketed. People are misrepresenting God and the type of thunder that is coming for these guys. Che, me, I, I don't know. Hey, if you are new to this channel, kindly, kindly, kindly subscribe. Share this video. I beseech you, my brethren. Um, more of this content is coming up. We are going to dive into more spiritual topics. Let's discuss more controversial topics. And see how we can grow in Christ. And prevent this kind of shenanigans happening. I had to react to this because this is a very sad state. And defend Christianity. I apologize on behalf of everyone who thinks this represents Christianity. Or have been hurt by the so-called Christians who claim to represent God but don't. In that world, this is very sad. Focus on God. Build on your Bible study. I am going to do a series soon on how to do so. But this we cannot allow this manipulation to continue. And if more of this happens, hey, I'll be here to expose them, man. So support this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. I'll see you when you see me next. Goodbye from the King Christian.